Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Today we're looking at Firefox's three and a half cool new features. So the first one is to do with your history. And uh, it's your clear recent history. They've updated this box here um, to make it easier to see what you're clearing. So you could do this before, but you can now clear the last hour, last two hours, last four hours, and today. So you can clear, you know, those searches um, about, you know, your wife's birthday present that you've been looking for and that sort of thing. Now, you can also uh, clear cookies and site data. And the interesting thing here is the size of the files that are being removed. And you can see how much is cached in the temporary cache. So I've got one gigabyte of data stored in a cache. That seems quite a lot. The second thing we're gonna look at is translation of text inside a web page. So if we go to mozilla.org and we type in FR, you can see I get the French version of the Mozilla web page. If I select this text here, I can right click, I can do translate selection into English, and it will translate that piece of text. What's more, you can translate the full page. Let's see how accurate it is. We're going to open up the English version. It says, we're not a normal tech company. The things we create prioritize people and their privacy over profits. We exist to make the internet a healthier, happier place for everyone. We are not a normal company in the technology sector. Everything we create puts people and their privacy above profits. We have the opportunity to make the internet a healthier and more enjoyable place for all. So that's slightly different from the English version, but it basically says the same thing. The third feature we're talking about is private browsing. Now previously when you did private browsing and you wanted to use sites like Netflix, it wouldn't work. But uh, now within private browsing, you can use Netflix. And if I want to watch this program here, you know, Beverly Hills Cup 4, well worth a watch by the way. And you can see that's playing okay. And the fourth option. Now the fourth option I can't show you. And this is why I've put three and a half cool new features for Firefox because this feature isn't available outside the US and Canada. So all I can do is show you the Firefox version 128 release notes and to show you here. Essentially, when you search in the address bar for something in America and Canada, you get this trending bar here, which will show you the trending results as well as just your normal search results. Now that may not seem great for everyone, but for people who create content, seeing what's trending is usually quite a good thing to look at. And that is the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.